Hi guys, my name is Ephraim. So today I'll be doing a rendering test using the latest Intel i3-6100 Scarlet processor to render 1080p footages at different frame rates and also in 4K on Sony Movie Studio Platinum, which is very similar to the more professional Sony Vegas. So I will give you a brief introduction on this processor. This processor comes with two cores and four threads and has a TDP of 65 watt which is clocked at 3.7 GHz. It's a 14 nm uh, processor which is developed by Intel which is very efficient. So it will usually go up to 3.66 GHz when I start rendering the video. So on paper 3.7 GHz is really fast. So let's go on to my specification of my PC that I'll be using. So the CPU is the i3-6100. So the motherboard I'll be using is the Gigabyte H110 DS2 motherboard. And the RAM I'll be using is the Kingston 4GB DDR4 2133MHz RAM. So and which I recommend you guys to get at least an 8GB for better multitasking. And PSU I'll be using is the Sigusap 300W power supply. And as for storage, I'll be using the Kingston 120GB SSD as the boot drive and Toshiba 500GB HDD for additional storage. And as for the operating system, I'll be using Windows 10. So this PC is mainly built for office use. So without further ado, let's take a look at the result of my test. All clips are at 1 minute in length. So first is the 1080p 30 frames per second which I render it out at 16 megabits per second. So it took 1 minute and 56 seconds. So next I'll be rendering the video and this time I'll be using a 1080p 50 frames per second which I render it out at 16 megabits per second and it took 2 minutes and 42 seconds. So this time is actually longer than 30 frames per second. And the next I'll be using is 1080 p 60 frames per second which I render out at 16 megabits per second and it took about 3 minutes and 3 seconds so if you have a clip at 1080p at 24 or 25 frames per second you will actually um, get a shorter duration as last frame actually take less time maybe a 10 to 20 seconds lesser so on the next I'll be using is the 4k video clip so at 4K, I'll be taking the 24 frames per second and I get the rendering time at 5 minutes 54 seconds and I render it out as XAVCS at 50 megabits per second. And next, I'll be using the 4K at 25 frames per second and I render it out at 8 minutes and I render out XAVCS at 50 megabits per second and it took 8 minutes and 42 seconds. So you can, you can see that 4K actually takes really really long to render even though it's a 1 minute video clip. Even if you're using a different video software or different video format to render, time varies to about 1 to 30 seconds on a 1080 1 minute video file. So in conclusion, if you're choosing a computer for basically video rendering, I would suggest you to go with at least a Core i5-6400 processor because it has 4 physical cores which will greatly speed up your rendering time even it has lower clock speed. So for gaming and occasional video editing, this is a great processor for the money you are paying. It plays back 4K video pretty good if you want to watch and enjoy 4K videos on your monitor. So I'll be getting an i5 for video editing soon and I'll definitely make another video to tell you the difference and the improvement. So until then, if you have any question, feel free to leave me in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. I will highly appreciate it. If you have any suggestion or anything you want to test, just let me know in the comments below and I will reply you. So until then, have a nice day and I will see you soon. Have fun and goodbye and also God bless you.